WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and very pleasant. Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down three tenths of a percent, 108 points. Half a percent for the S&P or 22. Half a percent for the NDX 100. That's 64 points. A little over 1 percent for the Russell. 22 points to the downside. Gold's trading out at 1878. That's up two bucks. Silver off 13 cents. Trading out at 2227. Lightsweet crude is off about a buck, trading out at 72.42. Natural gas down two pennies, 2.38 is their print there. And the 30 year treasury down nearly one point, trading out at 129.04. Let's try to figure out what all that means out there by taking a look at nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. What you'll notice here, or should notice, is a new profile that is attempting to form. Right now, resistance at 41.68, support at 40.27. The reason why I say attempting to form is because we're using Stevie's advanced Doppler tool out there. It detects profiles as they are attempting to form. We won't have confirmation on this profile until this evening. But right now, we use the data that we have. A couple things here. Number one, this is a bullish structured profile. So support on a move lower should be between 4027 and 4067. I realize that's a 40-point swing, but that is where the buyers are lined up. What else do we know? There's no confirmed top in the ES mini. There's no confirmed topping pattern or signal, no bearish reversal candle, no nothing that formed on a Friday that way. So, um, and we have this new profile that formed above the prior profile that tells us about a market that is trending to the upside. Now, spot volatility is still below its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 2095, price is trading out at 1936. As long as price remains below that, that sets up for the ES mini or the S&P 500 to move sideways. Maybe slightly lower, but mostly to the upside. If you take a look at the NQ, the NQ does have a TD nine count pattern. That TD nine count pattern formed on Thursday. Friday was an inside bar. Now, an inside bar typically means price will continue to move in the same direction. As you can see, the NQ is attempting to form a new profile as well. The top of the profile, which is now potential support, is twelve four oh eight. Now, this profile appears to be forming below price. That's a bullish signal. New profile forming above the prior profile. That's a bullish directional trend signal out there. So watch the 12 forward. Again, this profile will not be confirmed until this evening as well. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, its profile was confirmed. It's got a road momentum indicator bottom. Price closed above the top of its daily profiles. That suggests it wants higher price. Goldilocks testing a key area of support. That's the bottom of the weekly profile at 1868.40. So, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Otherwise, we'll see you in just a few.